in today's episode with your fave, Alicia. Say, so guys, I'm back here now. I go, go, y'all. She's going to the back. I love, 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 love. Thank you. up everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your fave alicia and a welcome back to a special vlog so hey you guys welcome back to a new vlog in this video i'm gonna start a new series on my channel called like coco's chronicles and if you're new to my channel coco is actually my morky she's right here in this little thing um i'll tell you more why she's in here but yes i am a new dog mom at the tender young age of 31 um Coco is about going on six months now and she's my very first puppy of my own and I love her so much even though she is a little bad but it's fine I still love her she's definitely going through her puppy stage but yeah so on my channel I've only really made one video about her and that video was when I actually purchased her and got her so I was like you know what I need to give you guys an update on Coco and what she got going on so that's what we're gonna do in this video today so today is Thursday September the 12th and currently I am sitting outside of the animal clinic the vet veterinarian animal clinic because Coco has to get some more shots so that's what we're gonna do today um, she has to get her 12 week shots y'all she's way overdue for shots don't judge me but she's got to get her shots and then she's got to get rabies shots too um, and then in this vlog also we got so much more stuff to do I know I'm sure you guys can tell from that title um, but I did just want to check in really quick and let you guys know what we're doing here she is I'm gonna flip the camera and let y'all see her too but yeah, I'm just waiting on them to call my name so we can go in and get my girl shot it up. <laughs> but let me flip the camera and let me show you her. Okay, guys, here is Coco. She probably looks so much older than the last time y'all saw her. Look, say hi to the vlog. Say what's up, guys. She's scared, y'all. I think she knows exactly what's about to happen. She's been acting like, no, I don't even want to get out of the car. And I'm like, Coco, you have to. Y'all, look how long her hair is. Literally, she's going to get her first haircut in this vlog, you guys, because it is time. Her hair is like all... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to poke in y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But her hair is like all in front of her eyes, like... And look at her. She's she's a she's part Yorkie. She's a Morky. So she's changing colors already, even as a puppy. Like she's getting gray. I think she's gonna turn blue or something. I don't know, but look at this. You see how it's all gray? And she has brown on her face. When I very first got her as a puppy, y'all, her face was entirely black. Like she looks so different now. She looks so much older. She I feel like she already looks like she's one and she's not. I don't know, but she's super active, y'all. Like from the time she wakes up to the time she goes to sleep. Like, look at her. She wants to play, jump, run everything but yeah and look at her little collar look at her she's like no mama okay coco you ready no don't try to go back in there and hide you had to get the shot it'll be fine that's not your first shot you big girl you can do it i'll be right there y'all she's so scared she knows exactly where she is like i'm telling y'all i always hear people say dogs are so smart they're like humans literally dogs are like literally human yeah like i was saying she understands everything but anyways guys go ahead and smash that like button make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos with me and coco look at her she's so playful but anyways guys i will just see you all when i go into the animal clinic and she gets her shots i'm gonna make sure i get some footage for y'all so see you in a minute say so guys i'm back here now i'm at the vet I'm about to get seen. Look at her. Ooh, my shoes are a hot mess. She's trying to jump on me because she wants me to take her out of her. She don't want to get shot. Too bad, girl. You got to get them. Coco, stop. <laughs> so we're just waiting on the doctor. And I'm going to ask them to clip her nails, too, because they're getting long. Look, they I got the shot. She's sad. You said, Coco, you had to get the shot. Say, I had to get the shot. She wants to be babied. She probably is going to be a little sore for the rest of the night. But it's okay. I will take care of her. Look. Yeah, it's okay. She's sad. <laughs> Ooh, 
What is up, you guys? It is a couple days later since the last time you saw me. Hold on, let me turn this air off so y'all can hear me. Happy Blessed Sunday. Today is September 15th, and I have Coco here. I told you guys I would pick the camera back up when we go get her haircut. We officially just made it to PetSmart, and her appointment is starting right now, so I need to take her out and go into PetSmart and get her haircut. You guys, I'm thinking of, I was just looking at um, ideas of how I want them to cut it, and I'm going to show y'all what I'm thinking. Uh, can y'all see this? Kind of like this. I want to cut short, but I don't want her bald headed. Like, I don't want them to take all her hair off because, oh my gosh, that would make me so mad. I want you to have a little length, right? But I'm about to take her in here. Hold on, I'll let y'all see her. I gotta take her in here. I gotta put, I like to keep her in her little um, crate thing while she's in the car because I don't be wanting her to get hurt. Hold on, girl. Say what's up to the people. Say what's up. Look, okay. Look at Coco right now. Look at her without her haircut. Because the next time y'all see her, she's going to look so different. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let's go. We walking into Pestmark, y'all. Look, Coco. Coco. You ready? Don't be scared. You'll do good. Don't be scared, okay? You'll do good. I promise you'll do good. Look at her, she just knows we going somewhere. <laughs> Look at Coco, y'all, she's going to the back. Oh my gosh, she's getting groomed. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, I just dropped Coco off. Oh, y'all, I'm thinking if it's gonna be like an hour thing. No, that lady told me it's gonna be about three or four hours, she said, because she likes to give them breaks, um, especially since this is Coco's first haircut. She said that she's gonna give her a bath first, and then she's gonna, um give her a break let her eat something and then she's gonna start cutting oh my gosh but she was telling me that um coco they can give her like a cute haircut but it's not gonna be like anything extraordinary just because it's her first time and because she still has puppy hair so her texture is a little bit different than what it's going to be like once she gets grown so so that makes a difference. I don't know. All this stuff is new to me. Y'all know I'm a new dog mom, so I don't be knowing. I just be going with the flow of things. But hopefully, hopefully it turns out all right. We shall see. Whew. So three to four hours, you guys, is crazy. I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm about to see what I'm about to do. So, but I will just talk to you guys in the next clip. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, we actually about to go into Target and grab these vitamins that I need for Amir um, while we wait on Coco to get done. Yeah, let's go in here and get these vitamins and see a little bit of what Target has. Okay, y'all, we in Target. And why do they have, like, a section of, like, skim-like dupes? These are really cute. These are really good material. $15. Mm, it's not that bad. They're really thick though. I like it. I want to try one on just to see what size I would need. Maybe I should try the large. I'm going to try the large. And then I want to do this color too. This color is really pretty. I'm going to try this color on in an extra large. That's cute. I wish they had these shirts, but these are all gone. How much are these? 15 I don't think this color would look that good on me. Because I mean, it would probably blend in too much. I don't like that. But they got some nice joggers in here. Not my size. Medium, extra small. Dang, I done missed out on all of them. Okay, look at the Hello Kitty stuff. So cute. Y'all know I love Hello Kitty. The only thing is, I don't think I would ever like wear a lot of Hello Kitty. Like now, I think that's a bit out of my <laughs> comfort zone. <laughs> but oh, this is cute. How much is this? Ten dollars. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, they only have an extra large. Okay. I'm going to try this on too. See how it looks. I love these. These are so cute. I like this color a lot. Mm, how much are these? 28? I don't need to buy no more stuff. But this is cute too. Oh, look. They have... Well, the black ones have bows on the side. How come the red ones don't have bows? Oh, that's stupid. 
Okay, y'all, now I'm in the vitamin L looking for the vitamins for Amir. I think this is the one I'm gonna go with, this Baby Bliss multivitamin, and it has iron in it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with these because these might be good because he's been getting sick at school, so I need to build his immune system. So I think I'm gonna just go with these. And this was the last one, y'all. Y'all, I'm in the dressing room. This dressing room is dirty. What the heck? Look at all of these clothes in her. That whole rack is the stuff I'm trying on, but all of this was already in here. Like, where are the workers? It's filthy in here. I'm about to hurry up and try these clothes on because this just this is just a little too dirty for me. So, come on, let's try these clothes on, y'all. Okay, so here's the first outfit. We have these little, what do you call these? Biker shorts. I have a pair of these. Clarence, 980. And then the shirt. I think the shirt's $10, but it's too big. I don't like it. And the purple shorts, they're okay. They're not my favorite. I could totally pass for this. I'm, I'm going to pass on this outfit. Like, it just looks... Looks like I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> okay, so blue bodysuit. This is cute. This is, feels like nice material. It really looks really cute with these shorts. I love, 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 love the black. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So this is a size large. I need to go back and get the extra large. Oh yeah, I think the black is gonna have to come home with me. That's really cute. Okay guys, what's up? I'm back in the car. Ooh, my curls are looking crazy. But anyways guys, so the only two things that I got out of Target was the multivitamins that I showed you guys for Amir. I need to start putting this in his um, juice every morning or his water, whatever he drinks in the morning before school so I can start to build his immune system. Um, and then the only thing I got, the only other thing I got was this black bodysuit. Y'all, this black bodysuit feels so good. This is such good quality. It's thick. It's not thin. And I know I'm going to get a million words out of it this fall. So, yeah. And it was $15. Not that bad. Um, and I wore an extra, and I wear an extra large in this if you need a size reference. But that's it. Didn't go crazy at all. I did also go to the hair store really quick. I didn't bring y'all with me because I didn't get nothing too major, you guys. I got two things. So, I got some new little edge control. I like this pineapple kind. I do like that. And then, you guys see my hair right now. So, I need some type of, like, curling custard. So, that every night when I flexi ride my hair back up, instead of putting, like, more mousse on it, I need to put some product. So, I need something for shine. Something that's going to define my curls. Something that's going to help the frizz. And I went back to an old staple of mine. Mm-hmm. Auntie Jackie's Curl Lala. I used to use this all the time in college. And it was so so good I don't even know why I stopped using it so I'm about to use it now like right now I could put it in my hair right now and y'all would just tell the difference like just look at how defined that just made my curls like you see like this stuff is so good and it was $8.99 I feel like it used to be a little bit higher back in the day maybe that's why I stopped using it but yeah it was like $8.99 like do y'all see that? Like, yeah. So now when I flexi ride my hair, I'm not going to keep using mousse unless I need to. The only reason you want to keep using mousse is if your curls are gone. Like, if they're just not defined and you need to re... Y'all. Yeah, so that's the only reason. But I'm, I'm tripping off. Look at how much better this is making my hair look already. Wow. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. And did y'all hear about the Mayel lawsuit and all that? That is crazy. But listen... I, listen, I'm all for black businesses, black women entrepreneurs and all that, but I'm not going to lie. I did notice a difference with my Yale's products. I used to use the rosemary oil like it used to. It helped me like regrow my edges before she sold her company. And I noticed that after she sold her company, like it just I wasn't going to say it made my hair fall out, but it just didn't do anything for my hair. Like, so I just stopped using my Yale products altogether. And it's crazy how people are coming out saying, oh, it made my hair fall out, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe they're right because I did notice a difference too. Like, I don't think it made my hair fall out, but I don't think it did. Again, I just don't think it did anything for it. And now that I've been using Indian products, look at my hair, y'all. Look how much better my hair looks. And I was using a lot of Mayel products before using Indian products. So it's crazy to see the difference. Like, 
I don't know, us black women, we just gotta stop selling our companies because when people get a hold of our companies and they get a hold of our products, they change it, they change the ingredients. And it's like they trying to wipe the black community out, especially black women, like whoever bought her company, like clearly they putting stuff in there that is horrible for black women hair, natural hair, and yeah, it's messing us up. So I don't know, I hate that for her. I know she probably feels horrible. I know that's not her intentions. I mean, clearly somebody who creates any type of you know service product it's they want to service they want to do good so i just feel so bad for her but hopefully they get it all worked out i think we should all pray for her instead of like trying to put her down and talk bad about her on tiktok like no let's not do that let's try to uplift her and just you know ask her to you know take accountability and also ask her to make some changes to her product if she can again i know she did sell it so i don't know if that's the reason i don't know but but yes oh i love this and i need to look up I'm, I'm not even sure if auntie jackie is like black owned or anything i don't know my curls look so much more defined anyways let's go get this girl coco pet smart just called me while i was in the hair store right next door so i'm about to go get her now y'all they was talking about oh she was so squirmy she didn't want a haircut i'm like but did y'all cut her hair like that's all i need to know did you cut her hair like i know she didn't probably want the haircut but they said they cut it so i don't know let's see i'm about to bring y'all with me so let's go oh my god her hair looks so different i'm just recording her i'm not recording you Okay, okay, let me get you. Okay. Oh, let me put this on. Mr. Maker. What is Oh, mama. You look so cute. <laughs> oh, you're so small. Oh, you're so dumb. Yeah, Mari helped me do this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Look at you. You look like a little Halloween bottle. How cute. What's wrong? You don't have to be scared anymore. I had to be scared anymore. Yeah, I'm right. You are right. Right. Oh. Yay. Yeah, no. It looked so cute. And I only charge the $20 DMAT fee, not the 30 Thank you. Okay. So, okay. You pay right here? Uh, you pay the Oh, okay. 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 Thank you so much. All right. You too. Hold on, Coco. Let me take a video of you right here. I got to take a video. You look so cute. Oh, I did. Look at you. And then just like they used to Look at you. Look, Coco, your first haircut. You look so cute. Okay. I know you wanted to, you didn't want to get a haircut, but you look so cute. Oh, look, look at you. you. <gasps> so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at you. <laughs> you look so cute. Oh, oh, oh. it's so cute. Yeah, you just got oh, look so cute. Thank you all. Have a good one. You too. She looks so cute. Oh my gosh, she looks like a big girl. Okay, I gotta go pay for her haircut. They said it's 73. It was 53 for the haircut in the bath, but $20 extra because she was mad at in the back. So I'm about to pay for this and I'll see y'all in the car. Y'all, my girl looks so cute. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Look at her. You look so cute. Y'all, she is trembling so bad. I could tell she was so scared. The lady was like that Coco did not want to be cut at all. She was trembling. They said she didn't bite. So good girl, she didn't bite. She just, they said she was really worried about certain clippers and everything and she had to get help from another groomer to help her. I don't know. Why are you acting like that? And you look so cute. You look so cute. I look so cute. Do we look alike? They say dogs look like their owners. Ah, we do look alike. Hold on, I gotta turn this car on. It's hot. Oh my gosh. So again, I don't know if y'all heard me, but it was $73. So it was $53 for the haircut. And because she was matted on her back, it was an extra $20. It would have only been $53, but I had to pay an extra $20 because it takes time to help dematting. Oh my gosh. Why are your nails still long? Y'all, she is she upset. I don't think she liked it. She's trembling so bad. I just tried to give her a treat. She didn't even want the treat. She's she's mad. She's fired up. You fired up, ain't you? Hey, shall we? 
Y'all, look at her little Halloween bow. It's so cute. It's so cute. You look so cute, though. I know it. Oh, what's so cute? What wrong? Look, black dog. You know we don't lick on the face. I'm sorry, y'all. I only let her some sometimes. She can give me a little lick on the cheek. Other than that, no, we don't go too crazy in the face. You already know. She looks so cute, y'all. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> All right, so. I'm about to go home and show everybody what she looked like. So with that being said, let me know, y'all. Leave in the comments what y'all think about her haircut. Leave in the comments any suggestions, anything that can help her. I don't know, just anything that can help my girl get better at wanting haircuts. But they was like, just make sure you bring her every month for a trim, and that should help her get um, acquainted. So not for an actual haircut, but just a trim. So I think I am going to start to do that, just so she can get used to getting cut and everything, like getting a cut. So look at her y'all She thinks she's a big girl And she's 4 pounds now I forgot to tell y'all She got her rabies shot the other day And she's 4 pounds So her's a big girl Look at She looks so freaking cute Oh my gosh I'm gonna take pictures of her Okay y'all So I will just see you all When Me and Coco will just see y'all When we get home Bye Bye